I, I wanted to kind of set the stage and I, I almost want to have a debate on if yes. I, my theory of this is, is in line with yours or if you can change my theory on this. I actually don't believe in work life balance. Ah, okay. and, and, here, and, and here's why I say that. Go on. If I if I had so I've got a wife, four kids. Let's say I'm at home in the morning time and it's chaos. It's crazy getting everybody to school and it's just normal stuff. Right. If, if, if I'm impacted in the morning. I think it's going to impact my day at work or vice versa. If I have a bad day at work, there's probably a greater likelihood that I'm going to have a little more stress at home that night. And that's what I mean by the work-life balance. I think they're more intertwined than they are separate. And I think so many people try to keep them separate. Would you agree with that? I mean, let me be yeah. the student. You be the professor on that. All right. Let me be the professor here, Brad. Um, <laughs> when we started the work-life integration project at the Wharton School in 1991, following this, you know, inspiration from my child's arrival and my realization that I needed to dedicate uh, at least some of my career, my professional life to trying to help people figure out how to bring together the different parts of their lives. I intentionally, consciously chose the title for our project to be not the work-life balance project, but the work-life integration project, because we already knew from our early studies that balance is, if you'll pardon the expression, bullshit. It doesn't work for some of the reasons that you were just describing, because you can't have everything all at once in perfect balance. But what you can aspire to and get better at, and this is what my last you know, 30 years of, of, of work have been about, is finding a bit more peace and harmony and reduced conflict between work and the rest of your life, your family, your community, your personal life, your mind, body, and spirit, you can find greater harmony and you can improve performance in all the different parts because they are, as you say, intertwined and they affect each other. You can't separate them. They're all a part of you and your life and they are mutually affecting. So the, the thing to do is to get smart about the choices you make, about what's important to you, who's important to you, and then be creative about continually experimenting with how you get things done in your life so that over time, you are increasing the chances of your feeling like you are creating some beautiful music, having a greater sense of home.